Hey everyone, my name's Steve and I'm the Development Manager for the Pop-Up Village. It's great to be able to talk to you today about some of the exciting things coming when the village opens in just a, at the beginning of semester two. Um, I'm also here to answer some of your questions. There have been a lot of them coming through and I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight into what to expect at the Pop-Up Village. We've had questions about the Bryan Canyon space and, it's, and where it will be in the Pop-Up. Uh, the good news is Anusa and Pasa are both moving into Melville Hall and the Bryant Canyon space will form part of that combined with Pass's student hub space. It's going to be seat about 200 people with some expanded activities available in that room. I've been asked about the green space, the setting of the pop-up village. Uh, the pop-up village was designed to sit amongst a treed environment and so we've designed the buildings to, to nestle amongst the trees. The pop-up village also is elevated on a deck so that we touch the ground lightly and through all weather conditions people can get great access to the pop-up village. So it's going to be a beautiful green setting uh, for the next 18 months. We've been asked about what businesses will be in the pop-up and the good news is a lot of the university's current businesses are moving into the pop-up. Some names like Zombrero, Sushi Smith, really popular with students will be there. We're also bringing in some externals as well. So operators like uh, Red Brick Espresso uh, will be joining some of our exciting food trucks and there's, so there's going to be a great offer of new and familiar uh, for you right throughout the life of the village. We've been asked about live gigs and entertainment. There's a great space for you with about, that seats about 400 people. Uh, it has a stage area. Uh, so we'll do kind of medium sized acts. There'll be national uh, and international gigs. The space will be available also to students like yourselves. The clubs and societies will have access to it. So there's going to be a range of entertainment programs right throughout the life of the village. The popular one we've been asked about are drink prices in the Popeye Village at the new bar. And we've got our external bar operator new to the campus, the Burley Group, have been out busy talking to students, asking them about all sorts of things that they want to see in the village. One of the things that keeps getting mentioned is the price of drinks. So they're well aware of it and they're going to come with a great offer that appeals to students and their price points, as well as the rest of Canberra that we want to visit, that we want to visit the village as well. And we've been asked a lot about people with disabilities and their ability to access the pop-up village. Uh, and the village is designed around universal access principles. We've elevated it onto a deck, it's uh, accessible from all directions, and, with, and it's designed over one single level as well. So we're trying to make it as easy as possible for people to get access right throughout the village. Will food in the village be, uh, be affordable? Another common question we get asked. So there's going to be a range of food and drink options. Everything from you know, food trucks doing really fast and, and convenient food, through to more cafe style uh, environments where you can sit down, relax and have a full plated meal. So there's going to be something for everyone in the village. So everyone, thanks very much for your questions so far. Uh, make sure you visit the Union Court website. There's information there, full list of all of the tenants that are coming to the pop-up village. Subscribe to the newsletter so you get constant updates about what's going on. And I look forward to uh, seeing you at the pop-up village when it opens.